First guest tonight is a living legend who's been antagonizing celebrities, royalty, and commoners alike for six decades. You can see her now antagonizing her daughter on the second season of Joan and Melissa, Joan Knows Best, Tuesdays at 9 on WE TV. Please say hello to Joan Rivers. <laughs> That coat. What is this? Um... I always didn't come because there was a tragedy the last minute my dog died. Oh, I'm These sorry. are my dog's ashes. For real? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. Yeah. I think she committed suicide. <laughs> <laughs> we have what? Filipino neighbors, and she put an apple in her mouth and scratched on their door. And... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so I have her ashes here. Uh, that's nice. That's nice of you to bring them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I got there you. There they are. Yeah, they look delicious. <laughs> are you they a little look... worried? Uh, you a think, little worried, You yeah. think I'm going to throw them at you? Well, I'd rather you didn't, but what are you going to... Oh, look at that. <laughs> you know... <laughs> now, Joan, you're not going to win best dress. The dog... The dog smells like coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really so, committed to that. I, I have to I, hand it to yeah. you. Well, <laughs> now you got to wear that for the rest of the well, segment. Where am I gonna... going at this age? <laughs> no, How all are my you? friends die anyhow. Oh, so. I'm, that's <laughs> terrible. That is kind of, I mean, like, seriously, that's got to be a terrible thing it's about getting terrible. older. And you have to tell the people that are living, you know, I, and you have to, you should never say, and I know we haven't, we're going to talk about the Oscars, but you no. should, just so you know, we should never say somebody passed. First of all, the whole point is that they're, they're dead. They didn't. They can't pass. They're there. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I had a friend and her husband died and I had to say to her, you know, so I, I, I said, you know, he died. And then another friend was in the room and I said, and your husband, he passed. And she went, ah! I said, gas! Gas! It's all right. You know? <laughs> It's so not great, but it's all right. It's, it's, it's better than right. the alternative. Dead. Yeah. So anyway, so the Oscars is going to be something for you, huh? Well, we did it already. Maybe yeah. next year we'll do it again. But yeah. yeah, it turned out to be a bit. I know you got ash on your lip and stuff. I'm it's worried that this delicious. is delicious. Be... <laughs> this way, I'm really with the dog now. <laughs> <laughs> You're together again. Together again. Did your dog really die? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and my neighbor called me in. What a bitch! And said to me, "Would you like a dogsicle? Because it was hot." And she is my dog to lick, you know, it's like... You they gotta eat, move. They, and oh. you say, they say, we don't need dog, and there's a leash hanging out of her mouth. They eat dog! There's just a small percentage of them, of course. Oh. What would you have done to Sasha Baron Cohen if he threw ashes on you at, on the red carpet? Would you have been, like, I Ryan Seacrest? I would have been out of my mind. I'm a good, wouldn't you be? Well, I, I don't, if I'd I known about it, probably I'd be okay with it. But he didn't know about it. You don't, I don't know if Ryan Seacrest knew no, about it or no, not. No, 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 Ryan did not know. No, I would not be happy. Don't play games. It's like, you know, um, when, when people surprise you with things, don't surprise me. You know what I mean? <laughs> You don't like Unless it's a mink coat. Don't surprise me. I don't want to know. Do you like surprise parties? Are you out of your mind? You don't. Oh, you have no <laughs> makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise party. Now we know but you. I have no parties. At this. I, don't, I don't date. I don't do anything. Nothing. No uh, dating. At this age, please. Why? You seem. Why? You're very lively. You work all the time. Well, you... I have a great sex life. You do. Yes, I have a great sex life. I wish I had a partner, but. I... <laughs> <laughs> At this age, I'll sit at a dinner party, I'll go to a man like this. Because I'm flirty and he thinks I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> they walk away. Oh, that's, is that true? There's got to be somebody for you. I think you just, you don't want anyone is yeah, what it sure, is. Yeah, sure, I don't want anybody. Yeah, I, I bet like, you don't. You like, like to be alone, yeah. I like, you, I think you ha like your life how it is. Are you out of your mind? Really, you don't? No, I miss, I miss somebody so much, you know, but um, Let's get 
get you on The Bachelor or something, yeah. you know? I, I filled out some of those, like, e, e, e things. Oh, yeah, the match.com and that match sort of thing. Match.com. Right. But you got to be careful. Why? Because when they say, like, likes long walks, it means son of a bitch doesn't have a car. Uh. You got to watch. <laughs> You're probably right. Somebody, you, you, a man would have to have a car for yeah. you, Don't for sure. You, you I think, think a car is probably important, yeah. It's too pushy. You know, it's, not, it's not too much to ask at, for. At this age, neither one of us could. And I try to dress sexy, but it's hard. Is it? Well, at the, you know, come on. It's like, uh, they were all, like Angelina Jolie at the Oscars. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you... You know about this stuff. Why do you think she was doing that? Well, first of all, did she think there's a surprise up there? All of, <laughs> all of Hollywood has seen that. This, <laughs> this is a theme park. <laughs> <laughs> this is six flags over Volvo. This is... <laughs> You, uh, you, you know what's hilarious? You evaluate these people on the red carpet. Yes, I do. And you're a, you're a very good dresser. Do you dress yourself? Is that? I, well, no, I still can do my. Yes, I dress myself. Do you have somebody that picks out your clothes for oh. you, or you do? Yeah, because no, I thought I didn't you were insulting like me that. like an old woman. No, no, you know, no, 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 I didn't you mean You dress that. yourself, yes. <laughs> and uh, I also pin on my own diaper. <laughs> but it's, uh, Not what I was getting at, but. <laughs> but they're crotchless. <laughs> nice. So when you go out, you have to look good because you made fun of what yes. everyone's wearing all the we time. Don't make fun. That is so cruel. You. What we do on Fashion Police is we are critics. Right. I tell the truth. You know okay. what I'm saying? And uh, uh, and I and so Melissa thinks I should look younger. You know what I mean? So she said to me like. Get, get piercings. No, not, no, <laughs> but I don't need another hole that gas can come out of. It's just stupid. It, you don't know yet. At 40, you lose your eyesight. Uh -huh. At 50, you start to forget. At 60, you start to fart. And you don't lose your sense of smell till you're 70. So those 10 years are so rough. lonely. You... We're going to take a break. Joan Rivers is with us. Joan and Melissa. Joan knows best of the show. And the fashion police on E. We'll be right back with Joan. You know what? I am his mother. I'm very you aware of that. You have to talk to me about these about things. About what, Melissa? Mom, it's my life. It's my son. The buck stops with me. But you wait, cannot just what? go and take him to an audition. He was very good. He did it because you took him rock climbing. That's not and why he's he not going to disappoint you. He will do anything to please you. That's not so. Yes. He doesn't rub my feet. You know what? I'm done with you. <laughs> it's Jonah Melissa. Jonah's best. You can watch it on Wii TV on Tuesdays. And uh, Jonah... That's, I, I imagine that's real because... Totally real. Yeah. Totally real. She gets very upset with me. I don't know why. You spoil her son. I, yes. That's mm -hmm. what a grandmother is supposed to do. That's what a grandparent is, is supposed to do, And yeah. I take him everywhere, and, he, and his friends come. He has a friend that wants to be a stand-up comic. I'm not lying. And we show How him... How old? Ten. Oh, that's cute. And it, but really is doing it. What? You know what I mean? Like, he goes, like, to delicatessens. He and does? Tells, and tells, <laughs> it's hilarious. So I gave him heckle stoppers because they, hey, kid, you know, get out. And so I said, you have to learn to say things. Hey, you, where are you from? Texas. Well, they're so full of <laughs> in Texas. Well, a guy had an enema. They buried him in a shoebox. And the guy said, <laughs> I give him these things. Say this, say this. <laughs> Coming out of a 10-year-old, that's... Jesus may love you, but you're a moron. I mean, it's like... <laughs> I give him all these things. You brought say. your grandson to an audition there? Yes. And, yes. and, and he didn't Melissa get it. didn't want that. She was furious. What, is, what does your grandson want to do when he grows up? Does he uh, know yet? Right now, he's 10. He wants to be a, a football player, but, you know, it's stupid. What do you want him to be? Gay. <laughs> you want him to be gay? I want him to be gay. <laughs> I want him to be gay. <laughs> Who else is going to give a damn that I knew Judy Garland? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, tell me all about Judy Garland. <laughs> And so are you taking steps to uh, hopefully move him towards that? Well, I 
let him wear my pumps. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very hard. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's because uh, you want a gay. You. I'd love to have a gay son. Yeah. Well, uh, why in not? In a way, Cher is very lucky. She got both now. You know? like, <laughs> she did. When you think about it, <laughs> Melissa's adopting now. Oh, she is. Oh, that's well. That's got to be yeah. exciting. A very you. good friend is Nicole Kidman. Okay. Yeah, you know, gorgeous. No yeah, humor, though. Sure. But God bless her. But 125 <laughs> feet tall, uh -huh. three pounds, always in a red dress with a white face, looks like a ketchup bottle. <laughs> Walks around. <laughs> and, uh, no humor. I was wearing like a mustard dress. I said, "Look what condiments." <laughs> She's adopting all these kids. She has one kid, and she says, oh, she walks in Melissa's house, and she says, my children don't know who's, you know this bull. No, my children don't know who's adopted and who's for real and who's adopted. I treat them all the same. Isn't that right, little Jimmy, little Alice, and little Benji, little Magumba? Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> so they got Melissa a kid from Australia for the summer. Wow. That clicks. It doesn't, there's a click tribe in Australia. Do you know about this? Is it for real? I swear to God. It makes the clicking you, noise? They don't, they go, <laughs> they don't talk, they click. What? So we have Cooper and Rosenberg. That's my house. <laughs> well, it sounds like you guys are having a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, the kid loves me, and every time I walk in, he goes, and the garage door opens and closes. And open. Oh, shut up! <laughs> I, I know you uh, You had a, You had. talked to our friend Don Rickles Don today. Don Rickles, who sends you his love, and he's coming on in, I think, uh, a couple of weeks. Yes, he is, yes. I love him. I Do love you him, love too. him? He's yeah. the best. The yeah, best. He's the best. The best. Well, pl well, if you speak to him again, or I'll just call him myself, tell him I said hello. I will tell him. Again, it's great to have you here. I Joan Rivers, here. everyone. The best. Yeah. Joan and Melissa, Joan are the best. On E-TV and Fashion Beliefs on E.